In this video, we will explain the causes and solutions for potential issues that may arise in Beco air conditioning units related to temperature sensors. To begin with, it is important to note that the electronic controller of the unit usually detects problems with temperature sensors when a short circuit or an open circuit is detected in the sensor. However, these are not always the actual causes. As we will see, the issue can often be resolved with simple techniques, as the unit's components are usually in perfect condition. Here are the error codes associated with sensor failures, according to the sensor's location. Error code E1 or FF07 indicates potential issues with the temperature sensor that measures the air drawn in by the indoor unit's fan, aiming to get an average temperature reading within the climate-controlled space. Error code E2 or FF08 related to potential issues with the piping sensor or the indoor unit's heat exchanger sensor. This sensor measures the refrigerant's temperature in this area to prevent possible freezing of the unit. Error code 1E refers to issues with the sensor located in the outdoor unit, which measures the air temperature drawn in by the outdoor unit's fan, allowing an average temperature reading of the outdoor environment. Error code 2E or FF09 associated with issues in the sensor located in the outdoor unit adjacent to the external heat exchanger piping. This sensor measures the refrigerant temperature during the phase change to calculate the refrigerant saturation pressure. Steps to resolve issues with temperature sensors. 1. Turn off the air conditioner and unplug it for a few minutes. Then, turn it back on to check if the error persists. 2. Locate the involved sensor according to the error code. 3. Check the sensor's position. Ensure the sensor is correctly placed and securely fixed. 4. Verify that the sensor's connections to the electronic board are secure and that the wires are undamaged. 5. Disconnect and reconnect the sensor. Clean the connections if necessary. 6. If the error persists, turn off the unit, disconnect the sensor, and measure its electrical resistance with a multimeter set to kilo ohms. The measured value should never be zero or infinite. If it is, replace the sensor. Remember that rubbing the sensor with your hand should cause the resistance value to decrease. Otherwise, replace the sensor. 7. If you have the unit's manual, compare the measured value with the sensor specifications table. 8. If the error persists, visually inspect the electronic board that controls the sensor for any faults. Consider replacing the electronic board involved if the problem continues.